Hello friends, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we will talk about a very 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 important topic which is intrinsic locking in Java. So, so we will understand what is intrinsic locking, what is the concept of state in Java and what is synchronization and some commonly asked interview questions around it. So first of all, let's understand what is state. Suppose you have a student class, you have some properties in it like name, age, height and all these properties are mutable in nature. For example, you have a string builder for name, you have an integer object for age and a double object for height. So as you can understand that these properties are mutable, they can be changed. Okay. So what is the meaning of state? The meaning of state in Java is the values that these variables hold at any, any particular time. Suppose name is Sumit, age is 30, height is 5 feet 6. So this is the current state. This can change as well. Okay. So this is, you know, what is called state in Java. You know, generally when I try to interview a candidate on multi-threading, the basic and the most elementary question that I ask the candidate is, Suppose I have this student object in one of the thread, I update its value. Maybe I increase it age by one year. I change the age to 31 and in another thread, I try to check what is the age of this student object. So what will I see? Will I see 30 or will I, will I see, will I see 31? So some of the candidates say, of course, 31, because you updated it in one of the threads. Some of the candidates are confused. So they say 30. But the correct answer is there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee whether you will see 30 or whether you will, you will see 31. There is no guarantee at all. So what can you do to achieve the guarantee? What can you do to achieve this guarantee where there is no guarantee? The answer is intrinsic locking. So whenever, so intrinsic locking says that when you acquire a lock on that object, what will happen? Then you will see its latest state. Okay. So if you acquire the lock and an object and then you update its state, you change the age from 30 to 31. So first of all, you are seeing the correct state that was already already there. So earlier you are seeing 30. You can be 100% sure that its existing age is 30 and I have to add one year to its it says so it its new age will be 31 otherwise if you don't acquire the lock and you simply read the object and you get 30 you cannot be 100 percent sure that its correct age is 30 and no other thread in the system has already updated its age to another value how can you be sure the only way to be sure is to acquire a lock in the on, on this object which is called intrinsic locking it is achieved using the synchronized keyword so you, you need to synchronize on this particular student object. When you enter the synchronized block on this student object, you can be 100% sure that the initial state that I will read of this object will always be the most updated one. So you have been asked to add one year to the student age. When you read, you get 30. You can be sure. Yes, it is the latest value. You add one year and it becomes 31. Now, after updating this object, you release the lock. And now another thread tries to read the student object. But if, but again, if it doesn't acquire the lock, then it may still read the stale value. It may still get 30 as the age. So what do you need to do to read the correct age of the student object? You need to lock again. You need to synchronize again, again, access the intrinsic locking feature. And once you enter the synchronized block of the student object, you can be 100% sure that the age that I'm reading of the student object is the latest one, is the most updated, is the correct age, which is 31. So this is the only way in Java in which you can share state of objects between threads without any concurrency issues or without any fault and always be sure that the share that the state that you are sharing between object is the latest one so always remember you need to synchronize before you read as well to be sure that you are accessing the latest state of a particular variable i hope you like this video please show your support to our channel by liking this video sharing more and more in the comment section what do you want to see from us and we'll be happy to produce 
more and more content according to your expectations do like this video and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching